Have you ever wondered if electricity could be the key to unlocking the future of agriculture? Welcome to a journey through the concept of electroculture, a practice that intertwines the realms of science and nature with a nod to the groundbreaking theories of the legendary inventor Nikola Tesla. Our story begins in the late 18th century, when several curious minds began to notice a peculiar phenomenon. Plants growing near electrically charged objects seemed to thrive better than their counterparts. This sparked the interest of researchers like Andrew Cross and Sir Jagadish Chandra Bose, pioneering the field that would later be known as electroculture. Fast forward to the late 19th century, when Nikola Tesla, a man whose name has become synonymous with electricity, entered the scene. Tesla proposed a theory that resonated with the principles of electroculture. His World System, a design for worldwide wireless electricity transmission, was a testament to his belief in the inherent connection between electricity and life. Tesla's vision was ambitious, to say the least. He envisaged a world where Earth itself could be turned into a gigantic electrical conductor. His concept of using the Earth's own magnetic field to transmit power wirelessly was revolutionary. It was a testament to his belief that electricity was the lifeblood of the universe, a force that could stimulate growth and development. Meanwhile, the practice of electroculture was gradually gaining traction. Researchers discovered that applying a small electric current to seeds could stimulate germination and increase crop yields. Different experiments yielded promising results, reinforcing the belief that electricity could indeed boost plant growth. These experiments include the use of copper antennas that gather minute amounts of electricity from the earth and the air, then channel it into the ground to reach the roots of nearby plants. Fast forward to the present day, where electroculture has taken a firm root in the agricultural sector. Farmers and researchers alike are harnessing the power of electricity to enhance crop growth, combat pests, and even improve the nutritional value of produce. Sending the electrical stimulation into the ground excites the cells of the plants and causes them to grow faster. As an added benefit, this means that chemical fertilizers could be reduced or eliminate in favor of traditional methods like compost and manure. Electroculture draws heavily on Tesla's theories related to the capture of the Earth's natural energy. So what have we learned today? We've traced the roots of electroculture back to the 18th century, followed its development through the ages, and acknowledged the significant contribution of Nikola Tesla to this field. We've unraveled the potential of electricity as a tool for boosting agricultural productivity. And we've glimpsed into a future where the principles of Tesla's world system could become a reality. The journey of electroculture is a testament to the power of curiosity and innovation. It's a story of how the pursuit of knowledge can lead to groundbreaking discoveries that have the potential to revolutionize our world. This, in essence, is the spirit of science, a relentless quest for understanding and improvement. The extraordinary tale of electroculture and Nikola Tesla's theory is far from over. As we continue to explore the possibilities of electricity in agriculture, who knows what fascinating discoveries the future holds. After all, in the realm of science, the only limit is our imagination. And on that note, we draw our journey to a close. Until next time, keep wondering, keep questioning, and most importantly, keep exploring. The world of science waits for no one.